Hi everybody, it's Sam with ONT Now, and this week's offer that we're featuring is a Pudgy's Pizza, but not just a regular Pudgy's Pizza. Now don't forget it's located at 13460 Baltimore Avenue, but what we actually got was a do-it-yourself pizza kit. Check this out. So we've got the dough, I've got some sausage, some cheese, there's the sauce, some peppers, some mushrooms. So this is actually gonna be really good. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, we're still kind of locked in, right? I know that there's places you can go to now, but this is a great night for the family to enjoy. As a matter of fact, Natalie is gonna help me make this pizza. So we'll be right back. Hi, so welcome back everybody. So like I said, I have my lovely girlfriend here, Natalie. Hi everybody. She's gonna be helping me make the pizza. So you can see, right, we set it up. Yes. It was, it's easier this way, so we can just grab things as we need them, and we got out all of our seasonings. Um, you yeah. can use the seasonings that you prefer, but we like to use seasoning salt, oregano, some garlic flakes, and definitely mm. crushed pepper. Yeah, the best thing about the do-it-yourself pizza is you do it yourself. Make it however you want. So, you know, because they were kind of tell us, telling us stories about how different people like their pizzas. Even some people like it so cooked that it's uh, black on top is what, uh, what he said. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so we got our rolling pin. Thank you, Mom, for letting me use your Mickey Mouse rolling pin. So, you know, uh, while we were there, we were watching them do the magic. Now, some of them were actually twirling and flipping it up in the air. We're not going to do that. But so, you know, you just kind of spread it out, you know, basically preset the area with some with some uh, flour so that it doesn't stick, right? So what I'm kind of proud of what you I did, did really here, right? Good job. It's so you know, nice and brown. we put the uh, we just doused the table with some flour because it makes it a lot of work. And I'm actually very happy and surprised with how well this came out. You know, the goal is to make it round, yes. right? Yes. So we're gonna start putting our sauce and toppings on there. So let's talk a little bit about. The deal right we'll get that out of the way so the do-it-yourself pizza deal from pudgies this week is ten dollars is the uh starting cost right so what you get is you get the dough you get cheese you get sauce and one topping so any additional toppings right what did they say it was uh two dollars so two dollars an additional topping so feel free to order as many as you want or you know what if you have a particular topping that you want to put on your own pizza that's the magic, the best thing about having a do-it-yourself pizza. You can do it yourself. Put whatever crazy toppings you want on there, whatever you want to do, right, Nat? Mm -hmm. Ready to start putting our toppings on. And if you would like to see how the professionals actually make the pizza, roll the dough out. We took some images of those, so we're going to put some of those up while we're decorating our pizza. So we've got sausage, we've got pepperoni, we've got mushrooms, and we have peppers. So let's just start putting some sauce on here. Right now, what I've seen, Nat, I've actually seen this so yes you put it right in the center yeah so you may not have known this but uh, uh when i first moved to las vegas um first job i took because i didn't really know what i was going to do uh, i took a job at a delivery place a pizza delivery place yeah pizza delivery i used to make pizzas not for the place but they used to let us make our own pizzas if we wanted to so yeah my when i was a kid my mom worked at a pizza joint and we used to go there and spend entire days at the place and we used to make our own little pizzas too so this smell this dough this sauce it, it smells like childhood for me yeah now i actually watched them applying the sauce in the store they they used like a stick or something oh. kind of spread it out you know this i don't know if this is working but whatever it's our pizza it can be however we want it to be so we're going ahead and putting the sauce down so don't forget, Pudgy's Pizza is located at 13460 mm -hmm. Baltimore Avenue. We're going to share the phone number and everything. And actually, we had a really good conversation with the owner, right? Yeah, the, the owners are um, Tim and his wife, Jessica Stippage, and they've owned Pudgy's for the last two and a half years. Um, what I didn't know was that he's a fireman. He's a lieutenant with the Chicago Fire Department, just wow. like my dad was. And uh, he had worked in hotel and restaurant management for about eight years or so before he became a firefighter. So he has a lot of experience working in this field. And I uh, hope you're dropping something there. <laughs> I, well, you know what? Look, there was nobody with, with a clean shirt no, in the place. You can't make a pizza and, <laughs> and, and keep things clean. So You know, it's funny. Um, a lot of people on the neighborhood pages are always talking about pizza and I always recommend Pudgies, and um, it's because the sauce is delicious. It's a very tangy sauce, not a sweet sauce, which I like. And 
for me, it's very reminiscent of what Bob and Jack's used to be. So if that was one of your childhood favorites, I believe you would love Pudgies just the same. Nice to know. So, uh, you know, we, we took we took a look at the place. Now, uh, Pudgies has never been an indoor eatery, right? Mm -hmm. They have a table there. I guess you could sit there if you wanted to. But nothing's really changed at Pudgies because, again, they didn't really have an inside eating area. They had some cute memorabilia on the wall. Yeah, they had a lot of little pictures. They had, um, they had, of course, they got some the sports teams represented and some history and some photos of the the teams, the various teams in the community that they've sponsored. You know, a lot of businesses are really good with that, and he is as well. There's a picture in there from "It's a Wonderful Life," and the actress Carolyn Grimes, who played Zuzu, autographed it. Tim was telling me that he wanted to name his company Zuzu's Petals, but unfortunately that name was already taken. So they also have a signed autograph photo of the hitting coach from the 2016 World Champion Chicago Cubs, John Maley. Of course, he's in there because he came from Hegwish. He actually grew up in Hegwish. The oven is ready to go. We're going to put the pizza in the oven. But hey, listen, word to the wise, okay? After you roll your dough out, I highly recommend you take the dough and you put it on a cookie sheet, a pizza pan, something, because if you put the toppings on the dough the way we did without it being on something hard, it is going to be a fiasco. So we were actually able to save our pizza, but it's time for the oven now. All right, everybody. So here is the finished product. I'm so proud of ourselves. Like I said, we had a little bit of a hiccup because we should have put the dough in the pizza pan before we started putting the toppings on. Don't forget to do that. It'll save you a lot of headache. But I am very happy with the results. I cannot wait to eat this. I swear I'm hungry. Now, you're ready for some food too, right? Definitely. That's right. So uh, remember, Pudgy's Pizza. 13460 Baltimore Avenue. The deal is $10 for the do-it-yourself pizza kit, $2 for extra toppings. You get the dough, you get the cheese, you get the sauce, and you get one topping for $10. So please call them. They're gracious enough to offer this deal and offer to our viewers and fans. So enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy this pizza.